So guys, welcome to today's best of episode that is going to be dedicated to the note of black current in perfumery and I'll be sharing with you top most of my favorite fragrances featuring this note, whether it's the main prominent note in there or it's in the background doing its magic. So if you like fruity perfumes and black current in particular, this is the perfect top list for you, just give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time and then keep on watching because I'm here to tell you all the details. Hello and welcome everyone to today's best of episode. As you know, I really enjoy watching these videos because it's a lot of fun to make research and put together a top list that is dedicated to a specific note. I will leave links to the previous best of episodes down below because I've already spoken about many different notes, but for the last couple of months I've been really obsessed with black currant. I love fruity perfumes and this is probably one of my most favorite fruity notes. So if you like it too, make sure to comment down below your most favorite black currant fragrance. And I'm getting started with my list because there are so many fragrances to share with you today. Oh my god. I don't know how we'll make through it, so just grab a snack and let's go. Alrighty guys, so first things first, I've been wanting to buy this upcoming fragrance ever since I first smelled it in the winter and uh, this video seemed to be like a perfect reason to add mixed emotions to my perfume collection and I have no mixed emotions about this fragrance by Burrito because it is just perfect combination of fresh and very realistic tea accord with more woodsy notes like birch and papyrus with this black currant in the opening that smells just like if you put black currant jam into your green and um, really deep uh, gorgeous um, tea where maybe some leaves are floating you know in your cup so I really enjoy that it is so fresh it is very uplifting it has this tea note very very um, dominant but with black currant it creates a very unusual um, composition and uh, it's absolutely unisex amazing for those who prefer maybe even a bit more herbal fragrances and want just a hint of fruitiness in there you might really enjoy it for that. It performs nice when it's a bit cooler outside and I'm so, so happy that I finally got it. By the way, let me know if you would be interested in my top favorite burrito fragrances. If so, just let me know in the comment section. But let's move on to the next fragrance that is so amazing because it is actually one of the earlier purchases of mine Whoop. by the brand Jacques which is absolutely gorgeous. They have a fantastic perfume collection and this is hands down one of my biggest favorites because it's like the most decadent fruity fragrance you will ever find. Because in here not only we have black currant but also plum, bit of orange, bergamot, a whole bouquet of very powerful floral notes such as Elaine Elaine, Damask Rose, Tuberose, Orange Blossom and Jasmine. And in the base there is patchouli, vanilla, musk and amber. So all the notes in here are very bold and at the same time they don't fight with each other, they have amazing time and black currant in here is just a part of a fruity accord. Yet um, sometimes I feel like it plays one of the most um, like leading roles. So if you love decadent perfumes, if you want to be noticeable with your fragrance, I think you will really, really enjoy this one because it's just very enjoyable and opulent and is hands down one of my biggest favorites, not only when it comes to black currant, but to fruity fragrances in general. But let's actually stay in this fruity floral style of a perfumery and talk about another fragrance that has similar vibe yet uh, it is different and I'm talking about Tuberose Overdose by the brand Banana Republic and in case you're interested in this brand and you would like to check them out uh, because they have a lot of different perfumes you can get them from so Avangard web shop and the link is going to be down below feel free to use my discount in case you want to save some money but uh, this fragrance is just so crisp and juicy because there is green apple together with the black 
blackcurrant and ginger in the opening and they make it pop. I mean like really blackcurrant it's so juicy, green apple it's so crisp and ginger is very energizing. Other than that we have floral notes in here, peony, cherry flower, chip rose, jasmine and French pine. And in the dry down there are woody notes, there is praline with vanilla and ambrosinite which I looked up and Apparently it's a very expensive musky ambery molecule and I don't know if it's a combination of fruity floral and these musky sweet notes but it makes me feel like I had some vitamin C because it is so energizing and I love it. It's like a very beautiful, enjoyable, pleasant fragrance as uh, maybe designers used to be. So it has very playful energy and blackcurrant once again is not like um, the main note in that composition be it, I feel like without it, it wouldn't be so lively. So with that being said, uh, let's move on to a fragrance that's for me sort of like a beautiful fruity candy in a bottle, in a very pretty bottle that is called Almas by the brand Kajal. By the way, guys, in case you're into fantastic presentation, I think you definitely need to check out their brand because uh, they have a lot of great fragrances in the collection and this one is one of the highlights for me personally because it smells like a fruity and powdery candy. There is raspberry with black currant and a lot of citrusy notes. So it is really mouth watering. You know, it's like eating a fruity candy with like powdery finish on top. Very hard to describe, but so yummy and delicious. This is maybe like more gourmand take on this fruity floral genre because of the heliotrope and oris i feel like the powderness in here is very noticeable but madagascar vanilla with brown sugar they just do their gourmand thing and it is so enjoyable so pleasant so if you're into sweeter fragrances and you love uh, fruity notes i think you will actually enjoy that one but uh, let's uh, talk about something a bit uh, with more oomph and uh, this is the fragrance that is just unbeatable for me personally and it's called Playing with the Devil by Killian. You guys, this is not a candy in a bottle, it's like a juice of most opulent and luscious tropical flowers and fruits like lychee, white peach, black currant, black orange and rose, jasmine and something else. There are some uh, spicy notes too, such as pimento and pepper and some base notes, but for me it is so... Um, it's delicious, mouth watering. You'll hear that description pretty often today, but uh, it is like a little bit more sensual and sexy, if you will, without being too heavy. So it's one of my biggest favorites. It performs amazingly. I've been trying to find something similar to it and it's not very easy to do that. So just in case you are familiar with the perfume, let me know if you know anything that comes close to it. But we are gonna move on to one of, um, you know, the most, um, Statement like fragrances in the way like you can make it your signature scent. Actually, my friend Tanya did, and it is called Zene by the one of the greatest niche brands, Nishane, that you can also get from say Avant Garde web shop. And don't forget to use my discount because you can save some money while purchasing some amazing high quality niche fragrances. And this one is so fantastic and very interesting as you wear it because in the opening it is uh, powdery and fruity because there is blackcurrant, rhubarb and grapefruit but it is not too sour as those notes can be sometimes. Turkish rose, uh, gardenia with sandalwood are in the heart and in the base there is vanilla, evergreen musk. And it's interesting that it is fruity, it is powdery, it is a little bit heady but in a nice way and sweet as well and it reminds me a lot of Delina by Perfumes de Marley but these are not similar smelling perfumes. They give me the similar vibe wearing them because they're confident, they're very bold and they're extremely long lasting. So just in case you're looking for that vibe of the way you feel then I think you can definitely enjoy Zene. Not many people talk about it and that's such a shame because there are a lot of bangers in Nishani's collection, but this one gets overlooked a lot and I really wanted to put on your radar because it is long-lasting, it projects amazingly, it has sillage, it has it all, 
plus the scent is incredible. But uh, let's move on to the next one and uh, it's actually perfume that I purchased to wear in bed because it's called Sex Goddess. Yes, I love the name and I love how it smells. So Sarah McCartney from 4,162 Tuesdays uh, does a great job creating a very beautiful fruity fragrances. She has a lot of them. So in case you love fruity perfumes, that's definitely the brand you need to check out. And this fragrance combines some um, amazing notes. All of them are great. Uh, Black Current, of course, is in um, this composition, but there is also plum, violets that I love so much because they smell kind of like lipstick does. And this fragrance has something with a boudoir um, effect, vibe, uh, feeling, rosiness, the raspberry um, sweetness, uh, lily jasmine, and uh, there is a lot of musk and oak musk. So it has a bit, maybe it's not overly old-fashioned and nostalgic, but I feel like because of the oak moss in here and such a powerful powderiness that is coming from the flowers, there is just something very, how should I say, like um, extremely pleasing that might remind of uh, yesteryears, but uh, it smells indeed very, very sensual and sexy and I love to wear it at night. I get compliments, guess from whom? And yes, it's a very gorgeous fragrance, but once again, there are more in Photo and What Is It collection. You got me, right? And uh, there are also more with uh, Black Current. But uh, let's move on, let's move on, because there are still so many fragrances to talk about and one of them is definitely um, the Black Current um, like hit within designer uh, perfumery. I think you all guessed what it is and I'm pretty much sure the majority of you is familiar with um, Yves Saint Laurent's Libra. So Libra fragrance is beautiful, in and out. I love it. Um, it got me with this um, lavender black currant um, orange blossom. For me this could be like a unisex kind of fragrance because I don't know, the floral notes, the bloom in here. The lavender is noticeable, which is definitely not your typical mainstream note. And black currant, it just refreshes and gives life to all the notes. Because of the mask and amber green notes, it, it smells more like, I don't know, like skin, a little bit sweat, like in a nice way. I don't know. This perfume is very, very alluring. And it is uh, quite loud too, which might be great for some people, I don't know. But let's move on to something a bit more exquisite. I have two fragrances to share with you that uh, blew my mind and I want to find more similar ones to these. One of which is perfumed by Hubi, Hubi Jong Paris, which is almost like a historical niche brand. And uh, I absolutely adore it. Um, the name is, uh, oh my goodness, um, I can pronounce it Quelle Fleur Royale. Um, so anyway, you guys, this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. And I won't lie, this is probably the least black current noticeable in today's top list, but nonetheless, it is so gorgeous. Like anytime I wear this fragrance, I feel like I need more perfumes like it because it is very powdery, it is very floral. There is like a hint of sweetness in there, but nothing that you would call gourmand. And it is so smoothly blended that I feel like we need more fragrances like that, like this nowadays because in a lot of times they are all similar, in a lot of times they smell like um, a certain note uh, wants to break through and uh, make its way to the top and be, um, you know, the leader when this fragrance is just like what Aliens of Perfumery is about. So I absolutely adore it in case you're looking just for a very elegant and expensive smelling fragrance, you definitely need to check it out. But I have something else for you with like the same vibe of like a perfume. And when I smelled it, I fell in love right at first sniff. I feel like this is one of the greatest perfumes out there and I'm talking about Medicine Parfum by Roger Duff. First of all, this bottle is, I mean, like, as all his fragrances, a masterpiece, and the fragrance is so as well. Oh my god, even now smelling it, I mean, like, if you have a chance to get on Roger Duff perfumes, definitely check them out. If you love powdery and fruity fragrances, you will love them. But this is like, oh my god. First of all, this Yash 
I'm always blown. Like even by the end of the day, I can still smell it on me. And because this fragrance smells so good, I mean like so good, I'm in love. I mean, there are fruity notes, uh, there are a lot of floral notes, uh, there are musky and sweet notes, bass notes, but it is not about the notes, it is about the magic that they create. Yes, it is fruity, yes, it is floral, it is more powdery though, but it stays on the cool side. So the muskiness in here, this accord, it's so well done and I just love it. So I want more fragrances in this style and um, with that being said you guys um, let's move on to maybe something a bit more avant-garde because when I smell this fragrance it literally surprised me so much not only the bottle is so pretty I mean like how cute is it but the fragrance is uh, literally so interesting because Boule de Rose by the brand La Perfumes du Rosine that actually specializes in rose-centered perfumes and in here we have a turkey red rose that is a little bit sharp because there is tomato leaf and there are some cool notes of course with black currant that is really really popping in the um, top note so it is tingling but it is also soapy I mean like there is the soap note in there and the soapy accord together with black currant tomato leaf, um, Turkish red rose. It's something incredible. This perfume in the winter is like all I've been wearing last year. So good. If you love soapy, clean fragrances, you need to check it out. And black currant in there is a lot of fun. I like that they added, you know, like a fruity note to the top. But uh, let's move on to one of my recent discoveries. And I'm so excited to talk about Mist of Time by Galaga fragrances once again, because I've already mentioned it on my channel a couple of times. And um, I'm here to rave about it one more time time because this is beast mode as all fragrances from this brand but there is something about it that just is um, overwhelmingly maybe even unapologetically and absolutely offensively beautiful <laughs> so lime peeling the opening candied orange you smell them but black curd it just twists this entire composition in which you, we also have lather, tobacco, patchouli, birch, cypress that gives it like an extra mm, like an aromatic kick and mineral notes. I mean like it, the black currant twists everything I feel and it is so strong. I wear it, Benny wears it, is a must have for very hot weather. When you sweat, when you want to smell like you're wearing great perfume though, you will get that with this fragrance unisex and very 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 strong did i say it's strong yeah it is intense but with that being said let's move on to the next perfume and this one is more how should i say it's not strange but i guess it's not for everyone however i really loved it the first time i smelled it and then i got way more black current out of Far From the Matting Crowd by Sarah Baker than I do now. Maybe I got used to it, I'm not sure, but at the moment I get way more of um, you know, eucalyptus that's in there and because of it, it actually has a little bit like, not minty, but like cool opening. There's also oak moss with uh, some green notes like patchy grain, myrtle, but there are also some flowers, uh, jasmine for instance. However, it's a little bit like, the texture is slightly oily and maybe even dirty because castorium, which is like this leathery animalic note, is in there too. But uh, we have also fruity notes, black currant and plum. So they're purple. And I feel like this is such an interesting and very um, multi layered sand. In there, we have so many different nuances, even some powderiness, like a powdery aftertaste that comes from the heliotrope. So, as I've said, maybe not for everyone, but so creative. By the way, created by Miguel Matos, and uh, he has a great nose and um, he is talented. So just in case you're interested in that fragrance because you love cool fragrances, you want like a fruitiness in there, but maybe you want it to be more moody and even, it's not a dark perfume, but it's like a little bit, um, I don't know, 
it's just like very atmospheric, let's put it that way, because a lot of fruity fragrances, they're just playful and fun, and this one, it has a dark side. But uh, let's move on to more uplifting scents, uh, which are like uh, black currant rose um, centered, and one of them is actually one of my OG favorites, I called it uh, my favorite rose perfume, and it's still one of the top picks if I need to recommend a rose perfume, almost like a rose soliflor, that would be a trembling rose by Linda Landenberg, because it is fantastic. There are many different kinds of roses in here, uh, such as grass rose, damask rose, Bulgarian rose, and Turkish rose. So the rose in here, you will get it from all different angles. However, there is also carnation, so not overly spicy, but like a little, a little bit uh, with more depth. And black currant with sandalwood. So black currant, I feel like it plays on the fruity tones of um, the, the the rose scent, and sandalwood makes it uh, very smooth. So one of the best smoothest rose fragrances. Once again, black currant in here is not like uh, the main note. You will get it from start to finish. No, but it's there. And another fragrance that is rosy, but it's once again, it's a very beautiful rose, actually a newer discovery for me, and it's an absolutely different kind of rose by the brand Binet Papillon Paris, that is called um, number seven. So this is definitely not your typical type of rose. It's like a rose fetish, for sure, for the rose lovers who are looking for something different, because there are many rose perfumes, but when you smell this and when you wear it, you'll be you'll be addicted to this um, rose scent, because there is yeast and peppery notes in the opening. It is not overly spicy though, but yuzu, with black currant that um, steps into the uh, game a bit later, because it's in the um, heart of its composition together with the rose. It's just like the, this, this fruity part it is so, so different from many other fruity perfumes that you immediately notice the difference. And there is also ginger with myrrh. So very well thought through composition. And once again, it's like a fetishistic type of rose. So addictive, so glamorous, so beautiful that I couldn't recommend you enough to check it out because it was like a great discovery for me and I feel like everyone can wear it. Even if you're not into rosy perfumes, you might enjoy it and that's kind of like the beauty of it. But I guess it was all from me for today's video. Maybe I missed a fragrance or two, who knows. I hope not though because I've been working on this top list for a while now to gather all these fragrances and in case you have any questions left or um, maybe recommendations for black current fragrances, go ahead and drop me any comment below because as you know they really help my videos to get out there and I would really appreciate your support also a subscription if you're here for the first time and please vote for the next star of the upcoming best of episode that I'll be posting maybe in September or even October I'm thinking about milk or I've been also thinking about fig, so let me know which of those two notes you would like to see in the next best of episode, and if you have any questions left regarding this one, go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the commentary section, I would love to chat with you, and thank you so much for watching this one, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, if you shop with the links down below and use my discounts, that would be amazing, and if you want to support me even further, you can donate on my coffee website. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. To stay in touch, you can follow me on my social media and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!